so in this video i will be showing you guys how you can do fix this i will be showing you guys in just three steps i will give you guys three steps on how you can do fix this problem i don't know if this works on all windows but i will be showing you on windows 10 so um and before we start uh, i want you to know that this method can do work on a uh, Adobe Photoshop to, to do that. So the first method, what you will need to do, you will need to right click on the, your desktop, then go to display settings. When you go to display settings, what you will need to do, scroll down, then go to graphic settings. So now, when you are in graphic settings, you will need to click on here browse. And you click on browse, then you will need to find. Uh, you will need to find the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro that you want to use. So I will. I'm going to click on Adobe Premiere Pro, and you click on. Then you're going to click on Add. Here, this is the. This is it. To go to options, then on options, make sure that it's on high performance. If if it's here then you will need to click on high performance then click on save so when you click on save you need to refresh your PC then launch the application again and see if the first method does not work for you then you will need to try this second one so this second one you will need to right click on your desktop again go to NVIDIA control panel it takes some time to load then here is my NVIDIA control panel go to manage 3D settings then click on program settings it takes some time to load now this is the program settings you, you are going to click on add then find the program Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. I'm going to click on there, then click here at selected program. Yeah, so when you open it, you are going to the first thing you will need to do is to click on here, click on high performance NVIDIA processor, then you are going to scroll down click on initializing gamma correction you are going to click off it scroll down quota gpus you are going to click on it then use these gpus click on this is my gpu I'm going to click on here and you are going to scroll down go to open gl rendering gpu then you are going to click on your gpu don't click auto click on your gpu then scroll down again yeah and you are going to power management mode you are going to click on prefer maximum performance texture optimization you are going to click on it then off it then scroll down again vertical things you are going to click on off it then when you are done with all the settings then you are going to click on apply then wait for some time for the settings to apply so once the setting is done you are going to close the nvidia control panel refresh your pc then click on the adobe premiere pro right click on it then you are going to run it as administrator so now this adobe premiere pro so what you need to do now to check if the premiere pro have detect your gpu i'm going to click on new project just to check on that so here you see the video rendering and playback you see the renderer you see the mercury playback engine gpu acceleration quota which means 
the uh, program has detected your PC now and you will be ready to work. So that is all about the second step. So the third step, let us close the program then talk about the third step. The third step, so if you have an old graphic card, then I think you should try the lowest, the older versions of the Adobe Premiere Pro. So when I try the when I try the Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, all the method, the first step and the second method in the Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, so I decided to download the Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. So when I downloaded it, it still did not detect my GPU. So I used this method and everything was fine. So this is all about the video guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that like button turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos